Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here. Thanks again for watching. Now, is this a late Monday or early Tuesday morning uh, update? I'll let you decide. But just wanted to bring you up to date with where the um, ECMWF and particularly the GFS Ensemble are taking things because there's some uncertainty over exactly how unsettled the next sort of 10 to 20 days are likely to uh, to become. Um, this is the 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow um, from the ECMWF here on the left, from the GFS on the right here. And this is for the period from next Tuesday through to Friday the 8th of August. And you can see remarkable consistency between the two. We've got a centre of low heights out towards the west of the UK. And we've got this trough here, look, with a big ridge build across Scandinavia. So indications are here that uh, things actually become more unsettled through the UK and probably stay that way for much of um, the back end of next week. But it's always tending to be more western parts of the country that see the more unsettled of the conditions with the eastern areas tending to be closer to that ridge. Now it's interesting to see how things develop as far as the GFS Ensemble is concerned. This is the forecast for 264 hours. So this is for Saturday the 9th. So this is a week on Saturday. And what this is showing us, look here, is the trough still out to the west of the UK. This big ridge look centred over the uh, far west of Russia and sort of into eastern parts of Europe. So what we have is a flow rotating around that central high pressure, something like that, but we'll find uh, low pressure somewhere situated out towards the west of the UK and probably bringing in a warm southerly flow. So this tendency all the time towards the west trying to stay into these more unsettled conditions towards the back end of next week, as I said, and that theme continues according to the GFS Ensemble, into the uh, late stages of next weekend. So this is Sunday the 10th of August. Still got this big, big high look centred off towards the east. Got the trough there, look, out towards the west. I think probably what the underlying pressure pattern on these two features would be, would be to put low pressure somewhere down here and here. High pressure up here, so the flow would be rotating around like so. And we'd have a flow like that and uh, sorry we'd have a yeah we'd have a flow like that and we'd have a flow like that as well so basically that would set up the uk for the potential for some really hot and fine conditions across eastern areas but that thundery rain brought about by those areas of low pressure across the far south and also across the west. It's a real knife edge one, this one, because the contrasting temperatures across Scotland could be really, really large. But for England, Wales and most of Ireland, it would stay warm if this is a scenario that um, develops. And then this is a 360 hour forecast, so it's into the middle of the week after next. This is Wednesday the 13th. Yes, it's a long, long way off. But again, you see here the height heights off towards the east. Now this is significant because what tends to happen from the GFS Ensemble is that it smooths things out too much. So if it's seeing these high heights then that's a, an indication that high really is quite big across the east and there's confidence in it being there. Still got this trough look off towards the west of the UK but it's moved its way a little bit further eastwards. But we will still find that warm south to southeasterly flow through the UK but these more unsettling additions again trying to get in. So I think we're going to find this battle taking us into the middle of the month where we're constantly trying to get thundery showers in from the west while the east staying dry. But it does look as if it's going to be remaining generally mild for most. Now, also remember what I've been telling you over the last few days about the sea surface temperatures. They're well above normal um, around the shores of the UK. So if we get any cool air coming in aloft at all, um, and this is cooler air coming in aloft, running across the warmer seas. That enhances the potential um, for there to be uh, some rainfall across much of the country. And where rainfall occurs, so out towards the west and the south in this situation, it could be that that becomes quite torrential at times. So the GFS Ensemble certainly showing the signs of battle across the UK and Ireland. Again, west likely to see most of the rain, which could be quite heavy. The east tending to stay drier, brighter and warmer, according to those charts. Of course, what we'll do is keep you up to date throughout the uh, coming days. But, you know, I'm still fairly hopeful that we could find higher pressure building in during the final third of the month. So I'll leave you with that for now. But uh, whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.